Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a top 10 list, but before we get into it, it is a billion, like a billion million degrees here in the UK. It is really hot, um, so I need the fan on or I'll die. So there, there will be a lot of background noise in this video. I'm sorry, but I need it. Um, so I was going to do, yesterday I posted a video on the band that I really don't like. And today I was going to do a video on Fleetwood Mac which is a band I love, but I don't really talk about them that much. And then I decided I would just do a top 10 list. Now, this is not a top 10 list of all time. This is just my, you know, it's what I'm currently listening to. And it's my most played albums of the past month sort of thing. Because this, this is the greatest album of all time. This is a 10 out of 10 flawless masterpiece. And I truly believe that this cannot be beaten. This is the perfect album. Um, Obviously, that's my opinion, and you probably have a completely different opinion, but for me, this is the best. So, this is not on the list, it's been admitted from the list, otherwise it would always be first, and these videos would be boring. So, you know, I'm going to show you what I've been listening to the past few months, and maybe if you haven't heard it, you can give it a go, or maybe you have and you want to tell me your thoughts. So, starting off the list at number 10, we have Adele, with 21. Now, I can't remember if I unboxed this on the channel or not. Uh, I think I did, but it's just I have always hated the, the singles on this album because they were overplayed back in like 2011, 2013. When did it come out? 2011. It's 2011. Like they were played everywhere all the time, and that just drove me mad. And for years I hated, hated them, but now I actually really enjoy them. You know, this is a masterpiece of pop music. Uh, Rolling in the Deep is great. Rumor has it. Rumor has it is great. Turning Tables. Don't You Remember is great. Set Fire to the Rain is a great song. He Won't Go. Take It All. And uh, Someone Like You is a great closing track to the album. This is brilliant, to be fair, you know. And, what? Well, pardon me. I've been drinking Monster. Um. If you haven't heard this, I'll definitely give it a go. But it only gets number 10 on the list, because the other albums I've been listening to are a lot better. So next up we have Eminem with Relapse. As you know, I've been going uh, back through Eminem's catalogue and falling in love with his music again. And this is a... You know, I have been addicted to this album. I probably listen to it every other day. And it's not like... It's kind of hard to explain. Uh, the lyrical themes on this album are not some of my favourite, but it's the beats, the beats and the production on this album is flawless. In terms of production and beats, it's a 10 out of 10. The song Deja, not Deja Vu, uh, must be the Ganja, on vinyl, sounds amazing. My god, it's a real headbanger with that beat, just brilliant, seriously amazing. Um, I love Eminem again, and this is probably... I know I did that Eminem list last week, I think, but this is definitely climbing up that list, and it's number nine on this list. So next up, we have another rap album with Tyler the Creator's Igor. Now, this is probably going to be a, a new one for most people on the channel, and it was a new one for me. You know, I just thought I watch a lot of Anthony Fantano, the Needle Drop, who does he does music reviews and. He mostly does stuff that I have no interest in listening to, so I don't watch that. But I watch his end of year stuff quite a lot. And this, he voted this, I believe it was his best album of 2019. So I thought I should give it a try. And I did listen to it. I think it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And it's strange, because outside of Eminem, I didn't really listen to much other rap music. Um, Igor's theme has these amazing simps and drums. Just brilliant. Uh, Earthbreak, featuring, uh, what is his name? Oh, I think his name's, it's not Kid Cudi. Um, oh, I can't remember his name. But this dude does this really high-pitched verse, which is great. It should say in there. Um, uh, uh, Cash Carty? Playboy Carty, that's his name, does the verse, which is great. Uh, Running Out of Time is great, I think. New Magic Wand, A Boy is a Gun, amazing. 
Are We Still Friends, the closing track. Brilliant. This album is truly a masterpiece of like electronic rap music. Brilliant. And next up we have an album on <coughs> number seven. Hang on. I can't mouse. 1098. Number eight on the list. Number seven on the list we have an album that you've probably never heard of. Um, I like to bring attention to new artists on this channel. So number seven on the list, if you've never heard it, which you probably haven't, I would definitely give it a go, because it's incredibly underrated. It was by this guy called Michael Jackson. Uh, this is Thriller, number seven on the list. Now, <laughs> all seriousness, it's addictive, this album. It's so catchy. And although I, I don't really like uh, Human Nature, PYT, and The Lady in My Life, I feel like after Billie Jean ends, the album's just sorts of plummets for me. But I, I still want to be starting something. Got to be starting something. Want to be starting something. You're a vegetable. It's amazing. That's my Michael Jackson, by the way. Baby Be Mine. The Girl Is Mine, featuring Paul McCartney. Thriller, thriller night. It's amazing. Beat it. Billy Jean. You can't top this album. It's so catchy, so upbeat, and it just, you know, when I'm in not the greatest mood, it's actually a really great album to stick on because it's just, it lifts your spirits. Um, amazing. So, next up, next up, we really do have an underrated album by an underrated artist. Um, we have Janet Devlin, Confessional. Now she actually signed this one. There's a video on her Facebook where she did a live stream and she went through and signed them all. So this is actually signed by her, which is really cool. Um, this is incredibly underrated. Her voice is amazing. She's from, I think she's from Northern Ireland. It might be Southern Ireland. I forget, well she's from Ireland then. And she incorporates a lot of like Celtic music and Celtic sounds and instruments into this album and it's beautiful. The lyrics are amazing, a really, really underrated album, and she's absolutely stunning, but that's besides the point. Uh, next up, we have an album I unboxed recently on the channel, which has just flown up my list. We have Joy Division, Closer. Now, I have loved this album for almost two years. Um, Joy Division of Four from my favourite bands list, video coming soon probably. Um, and it's just, it's a truly, truly... Um, masterpiece album. I prefer this over uh, Unknown Pleasures, which I know is probably controversial to some, but it's just a masterpiece. Honestly, absolutely brilliant. And this 2020 mix, or remaster then, as I was corrected, absolutely brilliant. My god, <laughs> you know, phenomenal, fantastic. Uh, next up, we have another album that you've probably never heard of, because I, I don't think they did very well. We have Fleetwood Mac with Rumours. This is, again, just a flawless masterpiece. Um, Sakhnanu, Zanyo Sakhnanu. Such a great opening song. Sorry for that. Dreams, Never Going Back Again. Don't stop thinking about tomorrow. Don't stop, it'll soon be here. It's great. Of course, don't stop. That's what I bring. Go Your Own Way, Songbird. The Chain. You make love and fun. Oh, daddy. This is just fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. And this was originally going to be a video on Fleetwood Mac. Because Rumours and Tango in the Night are the only two Fleetwood Mac albums I've actually heard. Outside their, like, greatest hits album. And both albums are flawless 10 out of 10 masterpieces. Truly, truly one of the greatest bands of all time. And next up we have... My, my idol, or one of my idols, one of the Gallagher brothers. We have Noel Gallagher's High Flying Birds with his self-titled debut album. Now this was, I mean this came out in 2011 I want to say, or yeah 2011. It was three years, four years maybe, no, 2008 I think it was. Uh, no, it was 2009, sorry when Oasis split up and we had Beady Eye from Liam Gallagher and the rest of the band and back then I didn't really think much of Beady Eye like I just it was a bit I mean to be honest it wasn't it sounded a lot like Oasis but it wasn't Oasis 
and I know that that played heavily on my faults of the al of the first BDI album. But then this come out, and Noel Gallagher just smashes it. You know, I honestly, truly believe that Noel Gallagher is one of, if not the greatest songwriter of all time, and that is my opinion. Obviously, it's my opinion. So, you know, calm down. Everybody's on the run. Everybody's on the run. Dream on, if I had a gun, the death of you and me. I want to live in a dream inside my record machine. Absolutely brilliant. And then, I was stranded on the wrong beach and stopped the clocks to closing track. Truly just a fantastic album. If you've never heard this one, you need to go and give it a go, because it's brilliant. Now, next up, we have uh, Western Stars, Bruce Springsteen. This one came out, I believe it came out last year. Or it might have been early this year. No, it was 2019. But this is probably one that you've probably skipped over, or I don't know. I, to be honest, my dad, uh, my dad was listening to this album. He got into it, and then I heard it second hand from him listening to it, and I fell in love with it. So obviously, I picked it up and vine. It's truly, truly amazing. Uh, Hitchhiking, The Wayfarer, Two Song Train, Western Stars, Sleepy Joe's Cafe. Drive Fast, The Stuntman, Chasing Wild Horses, Somewhere North of Nashville. There goes my miracle, walking away. It's just a really great album. This is my favourite Bruce Springsteen album, and if you haven't heard it yet, you need to go and listen to it. Absolutely brilliant. I've probably said brilliant about a million times in the video. So the album I'm listening to a lot at the moment is Drumroll Please. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Um, we have Neil Young and Crazy Horse, Ross Never Sleeps. Now, I had never heard this album before, picking it up and buying it. You know, it was a fresh listen. I knew the song Hey Hey My My, because that's one of his famous songs. But other than that, I'd never heard the album. And I wanted to listen to something new. This was in 2018 when I picked it up. And it blew me away on first listen, and it still blows me away now. His writing, the writing on this album, the lyrics are absolutely, you know, it's astonishing. Some really beautiful lyrics. Uh, Thrasher is absolutely, I love Thrasher, one of my favourites. Ride My Llama is great. Tocahontas, probably my favourite song on the album. First or second. That Sail Away, amazing. Powder Finger. I love the song Powderfinger. I can sing it, not well, but I sing along whenever it comes on. Absolutely love it. Well, Welfare on Others is great. Sedan Delivery, and then Hey Hey My My, Into the Black. Mm. So yeah, this is a, a 2016 reissue, but truly a flawless album and it's the album that I've stick on a lot recently but yeah uh, thanks for watching thanks for watching the channel in general you know it really means a lot to me uh, this channel has helped me in ways I couldn't possibly explain and I'm sorry for all the background noise uh, for some stupid reason it's really hot today really hot like Jesus Christ it's hot but anyway thanks for watching I'll see you again next time take care everyone